Hey Apex Agents, Mobius Y here with another video for Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer, taking another look at a character build guide. Today's video is on the rare grade Human Commando. There eventually wound up being one thing that I wanted to go for with this particular build, and that was maximizing weapon damage output using the combination of Warp's debuff as well as Turbocharge's steroid. Uh, as well as being able to use Singularity for some widespread crowd control in order to disable uh, more insignificant enemies. So that's essentially what I was going for. Let's just go into the powers breakdown right away. For Singularity, I took it all the way up to rank 5. Rank 4, I took the Radius upgrade, but this is entirely personal preference. You could go with the 40% Duration upgrade, which will make it last uh, significantly longer 40% extra duration on eight seconds we'll give it about another two two seconds or more uh, of, of duration maybe three seconds so it'll be lasting f it'll be lasting for 10 to 11 seconds as opposed to just eight uh, personally I like the extra effect radius as it gives it uh, 3.8 meters of radius as opposed to the base three so it can uh, suck in a couple more enemies sometimes Rank 5 recharge speed, this was the sole purpose that I took Singularity to rank 5. Taking that 40% recharge speed reduction drops the recharge time from about 18 seconds, I believe it was, to only 13. Um, the base recharge time is 20 seconds. This first rank 2 upgrade drops that 10%, so it drops it down to 18%. Uh, 18 seconds, excuse me, and the rank 5 40% reduction drops it down to 13 seconds. So being able to cast this uh, almost as often as possible is pretty crucial to neutralizing and disabling groups of mooks in particular, as they tend to be the most dangerous groups of enemies. Turbocharge, obviously took this all the way to rank 6. Rank 4 it went with recharge speed, rank 5 damage and force for the extra 15% gun damage and force bonuses, and rank 6 supercharge for the plus 20% rate of fire bonus and plus 20% clip size bonus. Maximizing as much damage output as possible in a short time span by popping tur turbocharge. This is kind of the bread and butter for taking down sub bosses, groups of mooks, and boss, uh, excuse me, boss type enemies in particular as you can just hose them down with a spray of bullets warp only took this to rank five as i got everything i needed out of it uh rank four i took the extra 40 percent recharge speed that drops the cooldown down to six seconds so this it's a pseudo spammable power it offers a small amount of crowd crowd control because um, small mook sized enemies will have uh, a panicking kind of animation as though they are on fire. Things like outlaw raiders and cat chosen will behave as such. Even sub bosses that will be deshielded like cat destined and the outlaw pariah will act as such. And of course, remnant assemblers will do a similar kind of animation where they simply do not shoot you for a little bit. So it's its own pseudo form of crowd control. It's nice to be able to cast it as often as possible. More importantly, rank 5 expose affected targets take more damage from all sources by 15%. This is a slight debuff, but uh, it's a debuff nonetheless. And it lasts for the entire effect duration. So for 10 seconds, uh, something is taking 15% more damage. And considering that your turbocharge lasts 8 seconds, you kind of want to try and use these in tandem on even a single sub boss or especially a boss unit hit him with a warp and then immediately pop your turbo charge and for the pretty much the entire duration of turbo charge not only are you pumping out bullets at a faster rate that do more damage but uh, they are being debuffed by the effect of warp apex training took this all the way to rank six rank four weapon training for the eight percent weapon damage bonus rank five ammo and targeting for the 20 percent weapon headshot weak point bonus this is really huge in taking down uh, a couple boss units, especially Ket, um, Ket Ascendants and Remnant Destroyers. And rank 6 Weapon Specialist for plus 10% weapon damage and 15% weapon accuracy and stability bonuses. Uh, so big weapon damage bonuses as well as a slight amount of extra accuracy and stability to make your gun a little easier to handle. You also get some additional spare ammo and extra weak point damage bonuses. So 28% total bonus weapon damage. Uh, not too bad right there. With the combinations in additional headshot damage and weapon accuracy and stability, it comes up pretty nicely. And combat fitness, I took this to four. I could have done without this altogether. Um, I largely just went with this for extra resilience. Rank four health and shields for an additional 
plus 25% max health and max shields for a total of plus 50% max health and max shields uh, on the character. And I could have, of course, left combat fitness at rank 1, but taking warp to rank 6 and getting a double warp, as nice as that would be, as nice as that sounds, didn't really see it as necessary. Um, it would be cool to set off two biotic explosions on almost every singularity if uh, if more than two enemies are primed, or two plus enemies are primed, I should say. And taking singularity to rank six, the expanding singularity would be super nice, or even an exploding singularity would be pretty awesome. Uh, but I just personally felt that the additional resilience to the character itself uh, kind of pairs off more nicely with the emphasis on weapon damage. So when you're using something like a fully auto weapon and you don't quite have every enemy disabled just yet, you want to be able to take a couple extra hits as you are dumping your ammo into them to either de-shield them and have them sucked up by the singularity or to just simply kill them as quickly as possible. Uh, so the loadout in the gameplay, I used the M25 Hornet and the Scorpion. Uh, the reason for the Scorpion was because I don't have a Siphon Hornet quite yet. Um, so the Scorpion was just to kind of uh, regenerate some health uh, in a gun battle. You don't see me pull it out too much in the gameplay, though. The M25 Hornet is a really good pistol. It's a three-shot burst pistol. It spits out bullets at a good amount of damage. And it's very accurate and uh, still pretty stable as well, especially on this particular character. So it's really easy to land those headshots and weak point shots and whatnot and just drop things quickly. For equipment, I rocked the expert package to drop the power cooldown speeds a little bit, but also increase pistol damage by a bit as obviously I, I am equipping pistols here. And then for consumables, uh, pretty standard for a heavy weapon user, pistol ray lamp and disruptor ammo to maximize the damage output of the guns. Uh, I only used grade 1s in the gameplay because it's just gold difficulty, saving the higher grade stuff for playing on things like platinum and whatnot. So that's essentially a breakdown of the character build itself. For part 2 where I go into generalized gameplay with this character, check the link in the description below uh, where there will be gameplay on gold difficulty. This character is fairly straightforward, or well this setup I should say, is fairly straightforward. Uh, you try to singularity groups or especially groups of enemies. Uh, occasionally you'll see me do it to a single enemy if I just want to disable them and be able to cut them down without them retaliating. Uh, but singularity on groups of enemies and then you can hit one of them with a warp to set off a, a biotic combo and just damage all of them and then just hose them down with bullets. When it comes down to smaller groups, uh, especially sub bosses or even a single boss, uh, you just hit them with a warp to try and get the debuff going and then just, you know, it's all about target prioritization at that point as you hose things down with bullets. And you'll see that the Hornet is actually a really good gun for hosing things down with bullets. Um, so, yeah, like I said, very straightforward kind of setup. It's just a heavy, heavily, a heavy weapon-centric emphasis with this particular setup. So there's not really, not really much else to tell. As I said, for part two, check the link in the description below for gameplay on gold difficulty. This has been Mobius Y for Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Good luck, Apex.